on his controversial emails coming up later in the show facing Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears. Fields now the permanent starter under center as long as he's healthy. Fields hits Jesper Horstead for the two-yard score, taking it away from Amik Robertson. Good job by both dudes. Bears are up 7-3. Next Bears possession. It's Damian Williams. Remember, David Montgomery placed on IR with the bum knee. Williams is in for his second rushing touchdown of the season. Bears have a double-digit lead. As for Carr and the Raiders held well under 250 yards in that Monday night loss against the Chargers, would they get it going here? Well, how about his old friend Khalil Mack? Traded from the Raiders to the Bears several years ago, his second game against his old team, and letting his good buddy know about it, too. On to the third, Carr looking for Brian Edwards on third and two. And, oh, way to fight it off. Raiders are forced to punt. Next Vegas drive, third and four, Carr for Zay Jones. But nice INT and great read from DeAndre Houston, hyphen Charlton. That is some great work. Carr's third straight game with a pick, a guy who normally doesn't turn it over, and the Bears are taking over. On to the fourth, Josh Jacobs. He gets into the end zone just barely. Now, Eddie Jackson comes away with the ball, but the officials do rule it a touchdown. Raiders would miss on the two-point try, so they're down five. Next Bears possession, third and five fields. Keeps it himself, but gets only one, so they'd have to settle for a field goal. They're up eight with under three to go, but that's Derek Carr. He can be a wizard at times. Fourth and five, Carr. Edwards. And the Raiders, who started 3-0 for the first time since their last Super Bowl season of 0-2, have now dropped two in a row. Your